Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cyber Hashira. Today is August 8, it's Monday, it's also International Cat Day. I love cats and for that reason I have set a nice wallpaper of a cat. In today's video I'll talk about cats. I'll tell you all nice things about this fascinating animal. I'll tell you what they eat, what they drink, why they purr, why they scratch and uh, everything else. <laughs> Sorry I was joking. Today we are going to learn how to use OpenSSL. I'll show you how to do some basic things in OpenSSL such as generating keys, encrypting data, signing data and hashing. Let's do this. In my previous video, I talked about OpenSSL and showed you how to build OpenSSL from source on Windows and Linux. I'm logged into my Linux machine, which I used to build OpenSSL 1.1.1Q. Let's start with our first command, which is OpenSSL version. So I have already executed OpenSSL version A and uh, it shows all information. However, let me clear the screen. If you execute OpenSSL version, executing OpenSSL version shows the version of OpenSSL. So in my case, it's 1.1.1Q and 5 July 2022 is the date when this version was released. Also, if you do OpenSSL version dash dash help, it shows different options that you can execute. So in my previous command, uh, the first command that I executed, I was using dash A. It shows all data. However, if you're looking for some specific information, these are the switch. For example, if I want to know, uh, let's say, for example, I want to know the build date. No, no, wait. Yeah, let's let's try the build date. Open SSL version dash B. And this is the date when I build Open SSL on this machine. I can also view the compiler flags. So if I run the command openSSL-F, this is the actual uh, GCC command that was used to build uh, OpenSSL. I mean, this is not the actual command, but it shows the, uh, the flags that were used to build OpenSSL. I'll clear the screen. If you want, you can also view the man page of OpenSSL. So if you execute the command man OpenSSL, this is going to show you the manual of uh, the OpenSSL. So this is a very long document and you should see all available commands in OpenSSL along with uh, some information about what they actually do. And uh, yeah, I'm going to press Q to exit out of this. I can execute OpenSSL help to display the help page of OpenSSL. Now, this help page shows all commands that are available in OpenSSL. They are divided into uh, three sections. So there are standard commands and there are some message digest commands and there are some cipher commands, not some, but many cipher commands. Okay, I'll clear the screen. I'm sure you must have heard about five pillars of cryptography. There's integrity, confidentiality, authentication, authorization, and non-repudiation. This video is about OpenSSL, but I'll show you how you can achieve all of this using OpenSSL. For those who are not familiar with cryptography, I suggest reading about it. There are tons of resources freely available on the internet which should help you with your research. I'll start with achieving integrity using OpenSSL. By checking for the integrity of a data, you can prove that a certain data wasn't altered in any ways. Many websites publish the hash or the checksum of their software on the download page itself. So for example, um, this is the OpenSSL's uh, download page and this is the link from where you can download the source code for OpenSSL 1.1.1Q. Along with this, you can see a SHA-256 checksum SHA-1 checksum and there's a PGP signature as well. After downloading this software, I can also download these checksum and verify if this software was modified in any ways. 
So uh, let me minimize this. Oh, wait, I need to copy link and I'll use wget. Okay, it complains about uh, the certificate. So dash dash no check certificate. Software is downloaded. I will also download the Shavan checksum. So copy link and backspace this paste. I have the Shavan checksum and I will also download the SHA-256 checksum. Copy link and backspace this delete paste enter okay so now we have the tar file for OpenSSL 1.1q i have the sha1 checksum and i have the sha256 checksum these two files are simple text file that has the hex encoded uh, hash of uh, this file for example if i do cat OpenSSL-1.1.1 tar.gz sha1. Let's start with sha1. So this is the uh, sha1 hash of the software. I can verify the integrity of the software by executing sha1 sum and the name of the file. Check this out. The checksum matches. Now, if there's a, even a bit of change in the tarball, this checksum would be different. Right now, I'm getting a same checksum as in the file. That means the integrity of this file is good. Let's do another one that says SHA-256 sum. And I'll, oops. Okay, copy the name of the file. And this is the SHA-256 checksum. And if I do checksum, sorry, uh, SHA-256 checksum. Open SSL 1.1 and this checksum and this one matches. What am I doing? Sorry, I think I just executed the same command. I should be doing this instead. Cat and this file. Cat. Okay. Anyways, so this uh, checksum matches with this one. All right. Clearing the screen. And uh, okay, so if I do SHA-256 sum and run this command, I get the checksum of uh, this file. And if I do cat, this one, I get the checksum which matches with uh, the one that I calculated. I can use OpenSSL to uh, directly calculate this checksum. So I can execute the command OpenSSL SHA-256 and the name of the file. So open SSL dash this and check this out. This one matches with this and with this. Okay. I can use open SSL to generate my own uh, checksum file. So I can run the command open SSL SHA-256 dash hex. Out is the name of the file where I want uh, the checksum to be written and then finally the file name enter and if I do open SSL dot SHA-256 this is the uh, checksum let's uh, check it using the original file that I downloaded uh, SHA-256 and as you can see this one and this one matches I'll clear the screen Similarly, you can also generate checksum for a file. For example, I'll create a file. Uh, I'll say cats are cute. Uh, they are perfect. And I'll save it onto cats.txt. Cat cats.txt. Okay. I'll do OpenSSL SHA-256 hex out 
cats.sha256, cats.txt. Now if I do cat, cats256, and here's the checksum of cats.txt. Imagine cats.txt to be a software or a code that you wrote. Now, if you want, you can share cats.txt along with its uh, checksum file with someone else. And they should be able to check if cats.txt was ever altered during transit. And that's how OpenSSL can be used to verify integrity of some data. In the second part of this video, I will show you how to achieve confidentiality using OpenSSL. And like always, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will see you soon in the next one. See ya.